Okay, so I went ahead and cut up all the wires for the white LEDs, and I want to do the white separate um, than the blues and, and the other colors, and that's why I'm going to work on each one separately. So for now, I'm going to um, <clears throat> attach the wires to all of the LEDs, and the wires are I already um, stripped and tinned just to... Um, show you guys how I attach the LEDs now. If you want to see the video again on how to strip and tin it, just click on the link in the top right corner right here and you'll get the full details on that. For now I'm going to show you how I attach the wires to the LEDs and it's a pretty easy process. Um, looking at your LED, you can go ahead and grab your clean uh, soldering iron, just make sure it's nice and clean. Um, it makes for e better contact and a way better soldering point. <clears throat> You're going to go ahead and make it hot um, where you already tinned it. Now it's going to be a little bit awkward just to show you guys on camera, but trust me it's a lot easier uh, and once, you're, once you can work on it. And I'm going to go ahead and heat it up, both the wire and the place on the on the star that has already the pre-tinned look uh, terminal on it and once you do they both will fuse together just like that and I'm tugging on it re pretty good right now and it's really solid it's not really gonna go anywhere <clears throat> now what you wanna do next is now since this is the negative side you wanna go ahead and attach the other side of the wire to your next LED right there and you do the same procedure pretty much and you grab the end of the wire and you put it on where you want it to go and you heat them both up together and you hold it there for a second and then it should hold nice and well now this these two LEDs are permanently attached together you go on to the next step is you're gonna do the other side of the LED now and it's the same procedure you hold the tip of the wire and then you hold the iron on it on top of it and just like that it attaches pretty nice and now you can go ahead and do the rest of the LEDs um, going from positive negative to the negative to positive and so on alright I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll be right back to show you the finished product Okay, now that my wiring is 100% complete, it might look like a, um, a whole wire jungle over here. But everything is all wired up and ready, except for the moonlights. I will do those at the end. Um, now you want to go ahead and start testing to see if everything is okay. But before you want to test, you want to make sure that if you have the dimmable drivers, that you want to go ahead and reduce the dimming on this. So you just pop open your driver like this and then you want to locate where the dimmer is on the driver. This just reduces the current. It's called the SVR2. And over here in this position right there, there's a knob that you can control with your screwdriver. You want to go ahead and set it to the ca go counterclockwise all the way um, just make sure you do it lightly and don't force it um, all the way to the left that way you know it's at its lowest setting and then you want to go ahead and um, hook up your power cord to the electricity um, don't go ahead and plug it in yet but there's uh, the positive and negative side from the AC side of the driver you want to go ahead and uh, hook those up to your now uh, electrical cord, um, you leave the green one out because you don't want this, it's a ground wire and it's not needed. You can alternate uh, between the, on the blue and brown ones you can put whatever you want because since it's AC current it doesn't really matter, the current's just going to keep alternating between them both. And then on this side of the driver you have the dimmer um, uh, wires and then the positive and negative wires that are gonna go to the LEDs. So what you, you wanna do is you wanna connect your dimmer switch. If you have a potentiometer um, go ahead and lower it, uh, take it all the way to the max which is a hundred percent. I'm not gonna use a potentiometer so I'm gonna go straight to the um, 
a DC plug right now straight to it which is a 10 volt DC adapter I'm gonna hook it up straight to it now um, just so I test and then I'll show you guys how to do it attach it all to the um, daylight driver and then these guns are gonna go to the uh, the red one goes to the positive end of your first LED and the negative one the black one goes to the negative end of your last LED in that string and since I have 12 LEDs on that string um, I'm gonna hook up the red one to the first one and then the um, black one to the last one which is the twelfth one. I'm gonna go ahead and hook these up and I'll be right back to show you how to test. Okay now that I have everything hooked up I'm gonna have it exposed. This is very dangerous and I do not recommend you doing this at all. I'm just doing it for the purposes of showing you how to wire them and the different wire connections that you need. So the white wire over here is going to go to the negative dimmer, uh, negative DC plug of yours. And the blue one is going to go to the positive DC plug. And then you have the red one over here. This one's going to go to your positive end of the first LED. And the black one here is going to go to the negative end of your last LED. Once you have that done and you know that your um, dimmer is set on all the way neg um, to the lowest setting possible, this is just to ensure that you do not burn out your LEDs. Different LEDs, like the white ones, could handle up to 1500 milliamps. The other colored ones, like the blues, violets, greens, and stuff like that, can only handle up to um, 1000 milliamps. So you want to make sure that you have the setting to the lowest and so you don't burn out your LEDs um, especially with the colored ones. The white ones can handle all the way up to the highest setting on the dimmer so it's okay if you have it at really high at the beginning um, as long as you have multiple LEDs on that string. You do not want to do it with less than recommended LEDs. Um, I think for these dimmers it's between 8 and 14 so you want to have a minimum of 8 LEDs on this dimmer. So after that, after you have everything, all the hookups covered and make sure nothing is exposed, go ahead and turn on your, um, plug in your power cords. And there you go. As you can see it, it's really, really bright. Uh, I probably have the setting at highest right now. Um, something I told you not to do. But there we go. It's at its lowest right now. I know um, the camera is acting crazy, but it is really, really bright right here. After you do that, you want to go ahead and test um, the power that's coming through these LEDs. And you do that by attaching your multimeter, something that you really, really need to have, um, as one of your LEDs. So you go on, pick any LED you want, and you go ahead and... Put the red cable onto 10 amp and then the common cable which is the black one on the com. And you want to go ahead and test it as if this is a reg another LED. And you do this by placing your black terminal onto a negative side of a powered LED and the red one on the pos um, positive side and then you get the reading. Right now I am reading about 0 0.30 on my multimeter right here. Um, then you, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn up your LEDs just a bit. It's better if you have them holding them um, to the LED and turn it up slowly and on the colored ones you want to be able to reach to one amp. Um, this is really important because if you go any higher than that you might burn them out. Uh, on the white ones, you can turn them up all the way to 1.35, which is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them to 1.35 right now. And as you can see, they're getting a lot brighter. And there you go, that 1.35. So after I set it up at 1.35 for the whites, I'm going to go ahead and close up the cover of um, the driver and I label it with a white. So I know this driver can only drive the white colors. So when I finish the wiring after, 
um, the I make sure that I use the right drivers for the right colors. So you go ahead and close this up, and then you um, test the blue ones in the same manner, but make sure that you don't go above the 1,000 milliamp, which is one amp, um, on your driver, because it might burn out the LEDs. Um, different LEDs, if you're using another brand or something, have different specs. So make sure to check what the max current drive is on those L those LEDs, because um, you don't want to go above that on your driver. Alrighty, now I'm um, pretty much all done. I'll be back to show you guys how to wire the daylight dimmer, and then we'll be all set for everything. And then um, I'll show you guys how I attach the lenses and what not to um, have a good spread on the tank and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it all on the tank and show you guys the full complete setup alright so I went ahead and wired everything and I wanted to give you a detailed instructions on how to wire your daylight um, controller in case you have one or you are planning on getting one um, on this side of the controller here you're going to have the positive and negative inputs from your DC outlet. Um, all it is is just a DC power plug adapter. Then you're going to have to put in your uh, positive input into here and negative here. That one, that part is easy. On this side is where it gets a bit complicated. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of wiring going on and stuff like that. Just because I have five drivers running the system. Um, if you have less than five, if you have three or less, it's a lot easier. But all it is is um, from the driver output, like I showed you before, it has four wires. Uh, red, black, white, and blue. The red and black connect to the LEDs themselves, to so the positive and negative side of the LEDs. And then the white and blue go onto this driver here. Um, the first connection over here is going to be the blue. All wires go in here are the blue wires. The first one is the positive and all of your blue wires go into the same one. And the next ones are the three channels that the driver could control. Sorry, the controller can control. Um, I have here the blue on the first channel, white on the second channel, and the violet and green on the third channel. I wanted to be able to control these separately just to show that, um, that just to control the intensity of each light separately. I'm going to go ahead and um, flip these over and then I'll show you um, a little demo on how this works.